Hi there, it's Paula from Sentimental by Nature again, and uh, remember I posted a video that I was working on creating my own planner that fit in my purse, and I have it almost finished. I still need to do a little, few little things here and there, and decorative touches, and a few things that I want to find um, to add to it. So I'm just going to give you a basic overview. So. Um, I didn't want to buy anything. I wanted to use materials that I had here in the house. And I wanted something that was small and would fit inside my purse. And this is what I made. Um, it's on the basis, the booklets, uh, the inserts are 7 inches by 4 and a half inches. So folded in half, it's about 3 and a half inches wide by f uh, 4 and a half inches tall. And this is, I had a piece of foam, craft foam. I don't know where I got it. I wouldn't have bought it, but um, I have kids that are grown and they probably accumulated it and I left it here. So that's what I used. I covered it, covered it with some fabric that I liked and I made some inserts like this will be a receipt envelope. This will be a planner. This, um, I'm, I'm waiting to find the right washi tape to put in here. So that's why things aren't completely put together yet. This will be a credit card and money wallet. And this is a gardening journal. And this is a 140 pound watercolor. And this is a drawing sketch pad. And this is a lighter, a 90, 90 pound watercolor paper journal and it all fits very nicely in this journal that I can fit into my purse and I still have room for tabs or uh, I'm going to put a little pen holder because I have some small pens and small pencils that I'm going to put in here I think. So I just wanted to let you see what I ended up with and I think it's cute and it was things I had laying around the house. So please like and subscribe, and I will be doing a tutorial on how to make this only slightly larger.